For UpperMichiganSource.com, I'm meteorologist Sean Householder with your weather on demand. Well, clouds increased today out ahead of this latest low pressure system. I think we'll manage to stay mainly dry. For the most part, it'll be mild as we'll be in the warm sector of the system. Now, your almanac numbers from yesterday, well, we fell just short of the long-term average and it ends up being kind of a ho-hum almanac, not much to speak of, but I will point this out. Sunrise now before 7 a.m., so that's definitely a good sign. Here's what's happening regionally and uh, precipitation exploding now across the nation's midsection. We'll see some heavy rainfall amounts with this system as it'll actually be able to draw up a lot of moisture out ahead of the front and we could see some heavy rainfall obviously showing up some heavy returns there across parts of the na nation's midsection. Could also see some severe weather, a tornado and heavy hail potential down towards uh, northern Texas, over towards uh, parts of Oklahoma. Tul uh, Tulsa should get in on that. And then on the back side of that system, snow spanning much of the upper Midwest, some mixed precipitation already breaking out there. TV6 radar, now it was a clear start this morning with uh, mainly clear skies, but really uh, seeing uh, Pretty uh, steady cloud cover moving in, and it's been a mild start. A little cool with uh, little to no cloud cover in the east. We'll kickstart those temperatures into the upper 30s eventually. Here's a look at the big map, and again, warmer air starting to surge north ahead of the front and behind the front. We can see this trough really digging in. That'll be, uh, manage to draw a lot of cold air down with that, and those temperature differences are what fuel severe weather and uh, obviously this wintry mix that we'll be talking about. Here's a setup and as this front continues eastward, that'll allow this mixed precipitation to move right in and you can see that happening now. Again, some heavy snow uh, rainfall amounts there. Here's what our predictor model wants to say about that rain. And by this afternoon and into this evening, you can see rainfall really ramping up across the UP, some heavy rainfall amounts. Uh, to our south and here's our veritable patchwork of winter weather uh, advisories some potential flooding for uh, around Lake Michigan and to our south some winter weather warnings already in effect to our west some blizzard conditions out there and I wouldn't be surprised to see some severe weather today as well I want to tell you about a winter winter weather advisory effective for the western UP from midnight tonight until 10 a.m. Thursday could see an inch to possibly three inches of accumulation, especially up towards the Keweenaw and the higher elevations west, part of the Huron Mountains. And take a look at this, Chippewa, Mackinac counties getting in on that flood potential as well. Like I said, some of that rain could be heavy at times. Here's the forecast for today. Increasing cloud coverage and in the west and northwest, temperatures will top out in the upper 30s. Again, uh, increasing chance for mixed precipitation, a mix of rain and snow this afternoon and evening. And then in the east and south, I think we'll manage to stay dry, but mostly cloudy. Highs there will reach into the uh, low 40s despite the cloud cover. And then tonight, precipitation really ramps up. Could see some heavy rain, maybe even get in on a rumble of thunder in the south and east. Lows fall into the low 30s. And as you look west, more of a mix of precipitation types, rain mixing with snow, some freezing rain possibly mixing in there as well. Lows fall to right around freezing. And then a quick check on tomorrow. I think we'll actually manage to stay somewhat dry. Our chances for precipitation really diminish throughout the day. Highs will again reach into the upper 30s, low and mid 40s. We still hang on to a threat for some mixed precipitation in the west and light chances for rain in the east. And then again tomorrow night, another dose of winter weather. And you can see on your TV six day forecast, it's cold enough for snow Thursday night into Friday. We will see accumulating snow and it'll be cold and breezy, but then we actually dry out for Saturday. And then more moisture comes towards the end of the work or end of the weekend right into next week.